More than three months after Wes Leonard's sudden death after making a winning basket, his legacy continues to grow. Today, an Auburn Hills company donated $5,000 to the Wes Leonard Heart Team. 24 Hour News Ken Colker was there in Holland and has more on what Wes Leonard's parents have done behind the scenes. They learned CPR and how to use those automatic defibrillators, or AEDs, which restart failing hearts. Wes's mom, Jocelyn, took her class four weeks after his death, along with others who were in the gym when his heart failed. Then we all have guilt on us because we didn't save him. But what we do is we take a step forward and we save the next child. With our knowledge we learned today, maybe you and I can save a grandparent, a parent, or a child. We can wallow in guilt. You have that. That doesn't go away. But now what are you going to do with it? Now let's do something positive. Wes was 16 when he died of an enlarged heart after making a winning layup for the Fenville High School basketball team. His parents and others formed the nonprofit Wes Leonard Heart Team, which already has made a difference. When he died, the Fenville District had just one AED, but it was in a different building. Now it has six and expects three more soon. And every other week, the team trains high school kids and others how to use them and how to perform CPR. He could have been saved that the school should have AEDs in them and that their people are safer in casinos and Home Depots and even factories are far more prepared locally than our schools are. Today, Wes's parents were at Hope College when the Rush, a company specializing in video sports highlights, announced that $5,000 donation to the Hart team. His dad tried fighting back the tears. Miss him every day. That's Ken Coker reporting.